Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to Mumu Outdoors. I'm back out on the Sonoma coast. I had a, such a good time last time, I had to come back. But uh, this time I'm out with uh, my buddy Nando. You. This is his first time since last year, so he's excited. All right, it's time to get set up here. Okay, I got the Goofish 6-6 slow pitch jigging rod here. This is now my main rod since I broke my Travella. I was gonna get another Travella, but I was like, man, I've been using that rod for so many years now. I wanted to try something different. Um, especially a uh, slow pitching rod, legitimate slow pitching rod. This one has more of parabolic slow action to it. I've used so-called slow pitching rod before, but they were pretty uh, fast action, not a real slow pitching rod. So once again, I'm gonna start out with with the sex herring that I caught back in January. I got enough that will last me throughout the year. So condition is pretty nice today. Uh, it's not flat, but it's very decent. We are looking at five foot swell every nine seconds. So there's gonna be a little bit of ups and downs. Big herring. That's what I like to use for big lingcod. So there you go, big herring. So I'm gonna drop down here. I see some rockfish kind of towards the bottom but not all the way to the bottom but uh, what I'm really going for is the linka So most of the day I'm going to be, well, most of the day when I'm using the bait, I'm going to be slow trolling. Maybe one mile per hour, 1.5. I'm going to be paddling nice and slow. Uh, sometimes the wind is going to drift you towards the uh, opposite direction as you want to go. Then I'll have to paddle a little more. So we are out here with uh, my buddy Nando, like I said, and my buddy Drew, and my cousin Sang, and at the launch, went into my good buddy Napa Justin and Kyo, one of the uh, NCK OG. And uh, for the reel, I'm using PC Phone Alios. Uh, this is a 3000 version, 300 version. I've been using this reel for well over a year now, uh, probably close to two years. And uh, I really dig it. I actually have a review video on it, so check it out. I'll leave the link in the description. Um, actually, most of my gear that I use, I have a review video, including the kayak, the paddle, PFD, the wetsuit, whatnot. Check it out if you guys are in the market for new gear. Other gear that I review is something that I've been using uh, for a while, or something that I'm using currently. So I'm wearing a new sunglasses today. These are not mine, I forgot my glasses. Uh, so, but uh, my buddy Drew, he had an extra one on his kayak, so he let me borrow it. Fish on! Woo! Woohoo! Oh, yeah. Let's see. Doesn't feel too big. But I think it's a keeper. I love this fight. I love this fight. It, it fought a little better early on, but now, yeah, about 24. 25? Let's see. Let's take a look. Here we go. Let's 
got a little bit of bluish tint to it. Twenty-four. Released. <laughs> the bait still looks good enough. So I'm gonna reuse it. Got him, got him, got him, took it! Oh no, came off. Drop it back down. Yep, took my bait. Took my bait. Oh, took it, took it! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, feels good, feels good. Oh yeah. Feels a little better than the uh, last one. It's heavy. Not really running or anything. Oh yeah. I love this link fight. Just coming up slow. I don't know, it's not running. This dumb death roll in the beginning. Maybe it's just uh oh now nah, it's running. <laughs> uh, I'm on my mono. It's almost here. Oh. Yeah, a little better size link. I'm gonna keep this guy. Maybe twenty-six. Yeah, buddy. Good eater size. So when it comes to lingcod, when they get too big, in general, their meat is not so good. Kind of like stripers. It's not always, but in general, they're not so good. So I like catching big lings, but I generally don't like to keep them. Okay. Here we go. Not close. Yep, we got our 26 inch right here. I'm gonna dispatch the fish. There you go. This time I got my scissor. So cut the gill, bleed it. And then dump it in the water. Blood. I'm gonna leave it in the water for a few minutes to get it completely bled. Oh, I'm getting attacked by a uh, rockfish. There's a school of rockfish uh, kind of in the middle, probably blue or black. And uh, on the way down, they were just pecking at it. Just gotta get past them. Nice and blue. Got it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, buddy. Got him. Gotta be a link. Decent size. Not too big. I want a big one though. Okay. 
I'm on my mono. Almost up. Let's see. Yeah, about 25. 24, 25. See some fish. Quick release. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Another one. Feels pretty small though. Feels like a keeper. We'll see. Yeah. Death roll. Not really playing drag. So maybe a shaker. Oh, it's a keeper. Link number four. You happy? Fat belly. Dang, you copy? Yeah, buddy. Banana snack. Got it. Small. Maybe a rockfish. <laughs> what is this? What is this? I got a, the olive is tangled. <laughs> I got a china. <laughs> this is so funny. Got a china, nice china. Keep going there for now. And this guy is tangled up somehow. Yeah, buddy. Oh, drag is too tight. Got him. Oh, yeah, buddy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good one, good one. Nice one. <laughs> yeah. Best one so far. Best one so far. Ah. It's got some weight to it. Coming up. Coming up. Ooh. Oh, I love this fight. Ooh. Yeah, buddy. Death throw, death throw, death throw. Don't spit the hook. Don't spit the hook.
from the rock. Oh boy. Woo! <laughs> yeah, the wind was going to push me directly to the rock, so I had to paddle away a little bit. Oh yeah, buddy. Look at that. Woo! Nice one. Nice one. Now I'm in a dilemma because I don't typically like to keep big links, but it's uh, almost time to call it a day. So, mouth close. We got a 34. Oh, yeah, buddy. Woo. I think I'm gonna keep it because it's almost time to go home. I gotta paddle away again. Nando Drew. Yeah, I was saying I got a nice one. What a great day, what a great day again up in Sonoma Coast, my home water. The condition is actually worse than the forecast. Uh, it was forecasted five foot swell every nine seconds. It's more like a six foot swell, a little bit worse. And the wind was supposed to be less than five, but it's five plus, definitely not 10 yet, but so. A little bumpier than uh, we expected but it was very steady early in the morning uh, for two hours and then kind of slowed down caught a total of five keeper links including this one and one shaker link and cut about 10 rockfish i'm keeping four this time did you have any fish on board yeah i got two link cut no you got your wings also huh and uh, i got four rockfish you got your mouth what size they come out to uh, one is 26 and one is uh, 34. Ah, all right. And the China. Nice, nice. Thank you so much. All right, thank okay. you, guys. So as always, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more. And go outside and enjoy the outdoors.